Welcome back to the Blitz here on San Antonio Sports Star 94.5 FM, AM 1250. We are live at uh, Army Navy Radio Row presented by USA on the USS Intrepid with, well, DeMarcus Ware is joining us now, but <laughs> I, I've got I, I, I to ask you, man. This is America's game on Saturday, right, the Army-Navy right, game. Right, right, you right. played for America's team, yet the bio they gave me, you're wearing a Broncos jersey. Listen, man, I didn't print that out. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you, you, I mean if, San, if, it, if it came from San Antonio, they would have put the Dallas Cowboys I, I'm, I, I'm with you, know, you there. Right. But I'm trying to figure out who I know you want to ring up there. I did. I did. You know, it, it was one of those things that as a champion, that's what you want. I wish I could have won with the Dallas Cowboys. If I would have signed probably three more years with the Dallas Cowboys, it would have won. Uh -huh. uh, at that time, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers went and threw that ball in the playoffs. Uh, Des caught it. That. Des caught it. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, long story short. But, um, yeah, but it was a great opportunity um, up there. And, um, and it was, you know, helped me prolong my career. So, it, 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 and, and you know what? At the time, and I think Jerry did you a favor. Go yeah. get your ring. Yeah, yeah. Because there wasn't one coming in Dallas, and it's still not there. And this year I thought there was a chance. But, you know, the last couple of games, you know, where, where they look like, yeah, that's a team that can go play. Now right. it's a team that looks like, well, I can't trust them. <laughs> you know, usually by this time teams build their identity. Uh -huh. The Dallas Cowboys started out really, really hot. And they still have all the talent. They, they've gotten all the guys back. Now it's like, hey, how can we still jail like we should to get to the playoffs? It's one game after the other after that. You just got to get to the playoffs. Get your jail back. We got it. And don't let us Dallas Cowboys fans lose hope. That's what, what it I'm is. Saying. No, we, we're not losing hope. I, 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 I still got hope. I, in the I haven't lost hope. I, I haven't. Um, but I don't know that I trust them like I did. Right at the, I, beginning. I, I, at the beginning of the year. It, and it starts with Dak hasn't looked the same since he hurt that calf and that overtime went over New England. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It, it, I don't think it's an injury issue. If it's between uh, it, his ears, is it a mental issue? Offensive line has some issues. Jerry Jones is on the radio saying if receivers ran better routes, you know, they'd catch more. All right. You know, um, the run game hasn't been. It is solid, you know, Zeke's banged up, Tony Pollard's got the foot, but doesn't it kind of go back to the offensive line? You know what? Like you said, the game is won in the trenches mm -hmm. at the end of the day. If the offense and defensive line do what they need to do, if they're stopping the run, if they're pushing the pocket, whatever they need to do, they're, they're, they're going to win more football games. It really, to me, the skill guys, they can be a little beat up a little bit, mm -hmm. but they're still fast. <laughs> It yeah. does not matter. Uh -huh. Dak can still throw the football. But when you run into the situation where you start giving up sacks, misplays, being not where you need to be, your team is never going to win because you're still not controlling the trenches, like you just said, where it starts with the offense and defensive line. And, you know, it's interesting, Demarcus. Coming in, no, none of us were worried about the offense. They're going to roll out of bed and score 30 points, right? I mean, you look mm -hmm. at all those weapons. question was, how, how much better could the defense be than it was last year, which they were historically bad last year, so it, it didn't have to right. be much better <laughs> to, to help the team. This year, the defense has really picked up and started playing pretty well. I, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, surprising. Yeah. I, and that, and that, that's, that's one thing that I've seen is – you have different guys that when you first think about it, you're like, oh, they're young. How are they being so effective? Because they're hungry. When you got guys that are in there that feel like they have to prove themselves and you're wearing that star, you're going to get the job done. You're going to figure it out. And so the defensive guys are going to do that. Now the offensive guys, which can score 40 points easy, don't get complacent. Do what you need to do. Amari Cooper, you know, Lamb, you know, Dak, so on and so forth, Zeke. The names are the names, but if you take those names off and just start thinking about performers and get out there and perform, they will crush people. Just think about it that way. Don't think about the name. Don't think about how well can I make the Dallas Cowboys star shine. Yeah. How well can I get my job done? DeMarcus Ware joining us here on the Blitz, San Antonio Sports Star, ESPN AM 1250, 94.5 FM. You, you say that, and and you, you, you're so right. And because, you know, there's always, well, you know, he's been playing with a, this injury or that injury. Dude, did you ever play? How, how, how far into a season <laughs> did you get healthy? 
Um, I never was healthy at all. <laughs> my 20 sack season, I had a torn labrum. I blew my elbow out. That was the year I had that, that yeah. brace on. Yeah. And then I had that torn MCL. Uh -huh. And so this whole right side was messed up. And you know what I ended up doing? I started teaching the other guys how to be better. Because if they're more effective, they're going to look at me and say, DeMarcus is beat up anyway. We really don't need to double team him. And I got one dude that I need to beat. Yep. And let them go double team <laughs> Anthony Spencer. Yeah. Let them go double team Marcus Spears or Chris Canty. And that's what true leaders do. When you're hurt, your presence out there in the football is always, on the football field, is always better than somebody just, just getting there and just playing, if you are a true leader. Because at the end of the day, your aura that you bring out there is going to make them guys play so well because they know you out there playing hurt. They know you out there giving everything that you've got. And I know the guy beside me is taking care of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get that feel. And that's the feel that those guys need to feel out there when somebody's out there hurt, not playing well, like a Zeke. Yeah. And then everybody else picks up the pieces. It's 11 guys. It's team four. Well, and, and again, I mean – Stars are stars. Mm -hmm. we, we, we certainly understand that. I don't know, because uh, I'm a Zeke fan, but he seems he, he's not playing well right now. Pollard is. Now, minus the foot injury now. But, I, 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 I mean, does it matter what your name is or what your paycheck is? Who's going to perform better? It should be the decision-making process. And I know Jerry Jones said on the radio this week, yeah, contracts don't have anything to do with it. But, man, it certainly feels like it does. Yeah, I think it's, it just comes down to performance and want to. You see when Demarcus Lawrence got back, mm -hmm. how he played? He played hungry. He wants to. I, right. He was being <laughs> really disruptive. Because you start, sometimes when you're out, you start to miss it. Right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you're just in there, just, you know, just going through the motions, Sometimes you got to give people opportunities to miss it. Let them see somebody do what you need to be doing, and you'll figure out how to make that injury feel better and do what you need to do. You know, I'm not sure what your weekend plans are. I know you're in New York today with us. You know, hopefully you're going to the game tomorrow. I am. I, 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 you got to get down to the game on Sunday to talk to the locker room. I, I, I think there needs to be a good fire-up speech because it's a big rivalry game. Cowboys in Washington, a lot on the line. You talk about rivalry games. This, Army, this, Navy. This game yeah. a, I mean, the Army-Navy game, I, the first thing I thought about was the Dallas Cowboys-Washington mm -hmm. game. This is this Army Navy game is not going to be a throwing game. This no. is a game that I'm going to win the game in the trenches, no matter what. This is a iconic game that symbolizes the patriotism that we want every single year, right? And that's why I'm here and I do so much with the military, with USAA, and to be able to me being a role model, right, and now have a platform to now show people that the real true heroes that are out there are the people that are out there on the front line. That's why we're safe, the military, all of those branches. And But this game with the younger kids symbolizes what that gladiator feel should be like in whatever we do. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Uh, absolutely. Make it easy, meaning take the scheme away, me against you, and we're going to see who wins. Don't matter about the 8-3 eight and, eight and record with – the Army and, yeah. and what is it? I think three and eight Navy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it yeah, doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It's no, a Navy no. guy. Go Navy. You're right. Or beat Army. You're right. Let's and, go. And, oh, you win this one. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah go. it doesn't matter. Win this, this one. This, this game means everything. Everything. This game means everything, just like the Dallas Cowboys in Washington. And, and again, good rivalry games. Uh, great rivalry games. Mm -hmm. It's a part of it. Brings up extra out of you, even with the fans. And I, I think about you know all the memorabilia out there. You know, ArmyNavyHouse.com that USAA has. You know, where you where you can upload photos showing your spirit, and maybe win a trip to next year's game. Yeah, and that's we we're, we're trying to persuade people to get involved, right? You go to ArmyNavyHouse.com. They relaunching their sweepstakes for next year. So you just submit a picture um, of it's almost like who is the best fan, mm -hmm. right? You're going to be either Army or Navy. You can't be in between. No. Go on their website, click on it, and you get an opportunity for next year when Philly, when this game is in Philly, you win tickets and everything else after that memorabilia. 
And so I think this is a great opportunity. We're raising awareness. You know, Everybody's on social, right? Absolutely. And what's interesting is last year they created the Army Navy House website yep. and sweepstakes because everything was virtual. There were no fans. Right. The response to it was like, yeah, we're going to do this again. Right. And, and we're going to keep doing it because there's so much passion with it. And I appreciate your passion for helping military communities and, and, and the military and veterans. Something you've been doing your entire career, man. I, I've been doing my whole career from Dallas all the way to Denver and now retire doing the same thing. And I have a platform to do it. And it's just great now. This is my first. I've always wanted to go and see you're it. In, you're but in now I heard this is going to be something just to watch. You are in for a treat. DeMarcus Ware, you got so much going on. We didn't even talk Hall of Fame yet. We'll do that next time. <laughs> yes, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> appreciate you coming by, man. Appreciate you uh, being a part of Army Navy Radio Row. Right, this is so a much. great experience. Thank you.